Hello friends, my name is Real Emil and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 2. Today we are continuing on with our Let's Play and this is episode 35. And in today's episode we're carrying on with the one mate races here in the East City. However today we move on to Mitsubishi. Uh, so let's go and check out what events they have in store for us. They have the Mirage Cup and the Evolution Meeting. Surprisingly they only have two uh, one mate races here which is a little bit strange. However, we're going to start off with the Mirage meeting, and for that, of course, we need a Mixed Pursuit Mirage. Now, there are a few in the new car sales room. However, I've decided to go for one of the older ones here in the used car showroom. This is the Mirage Cyborg, dash R, because sure. Um, it comes in twilight blue. It costs five grand. Let's have it. It's kind of cool looking little car. I actually didn't realize these were 92. Um, I do look into the cars a little bit. Before I, you know, pick a certain one, you know, I'll look and see what the racing modification is or something like that. And honestly, I was looking at this vehicle, I didn't know which year it was, I just knew it was the other Mirage. I didn't actually realise it was a 92, it looks quite a bit newer than a 92. Anyways, I'm going to go and upgrade this vehicle up quickly, so I will see you in a second. So, there we go, that is our Mitsubishi Mirage upgraded. Um, a little bit disappointed with this car, I've got to be honest. Uh, it starts with about 170 horsepower, and I was kind of hoping to get quite a bit out of this. You can only get about 230 horsepower uh, fully upgraded out of this thing, which is a little bit of a shame. Anyways, we are doing the Mirage Cup, and there are normal style and racing style races. We're obviously going to start with the normal style race, which of course goes to a random course. Okay, we have headed to the Seattle Shorts course for our first race with the Mitsubishi Mirage. Of course, it took me quite a while to actually find a track that we hadn't used in the previous couple of episodes uh, because I don't like to uh, make it too repetitive. And I had basically every single uh, track which we'd used in the previous three episodes pop up, so uh, I just went with this uh, because, yeah, we haven't seen Seattle in a little bit. Um, not too long ago, any well, we wasn't racing around here ridiculously long ago, but still, mm, here we may as well um, come here because we've uh, been to Trial Mountain, Rome Night, and the Rome Circuit full course a little bit too much recently. <laughs> and by a little bit too much, I mean not all that much, but yeah, it's been racing in the like, previous episodes, so eh. Uh, I'll try to go sort of, you know, free-ish episodes with, oh sorry, I'll try not to use tracks that I've used in the previous three or so episodes. I try to um, sort of adhere to that rule. Occasionally I can forget what tracks we've been on and what tracks we haven't. Usually I will remember the tracks that were used in the last episode at least, so you'll never see, you know, the same tracks two episodes in a row, which is nice. Anyways, uh, Mirage, how does the Mirage handle? Well, it isn't bad actually um, for a small little vehicle. It's just the normal small city car really. It understeers a little bit but other than that it's pretty decent. It is front wheel drive which honestly surprised me a little bit. I was actually expecting uh, the Mirage to be four wheel drive. Uh, I don't really know why. Um, the Mitsubishi Mirage, in case anyone uh, doesn't know, uh, we don't get them in England, we get the Mitsubishi Colt, and I haven't actually seen a 90s Colt in a very, very, very long time. So, yeah, I don't know if they sold the Cyborg model over here or anything, I haven't really looked into them, to be honest with you. Um, I looked into the newer model Colts, um, they have horrible interiors, and I know that much about them. Oh, and they also were used for the uh, Smart 4.4, that's sort of where it got its platform from. Um, as you can see in this race, not particularly pulling away from anyone, um, so that's kind of interesting. I wasn't really expecting to, to be honest with you. I've only got about 60 more horsepower uh, than the rest of the vehicle stock, so it isn't all that great. Anyways, uh, as we look at the leaderboard, uh, uh, there's quite a few cyborgs in here. There is uh, three 92 cyborgs, which is kind of surprising, and they're both the same colour. Huh. Um, yeah, uh, there's two types of Mirage, I'll tell you more about that in the next race. Anyways, let's collect our money, we get 5,000 credits, which is quite a bit for racing these small little city cars, and I will see you in a second. Okay, it is now time to racing modify the Mitsubishi Mirage, so, oh god, <laughs> 
clicking all the wrong buttons. For some reason, I'm used to uh, just tune being right there instead of that whole used car section as you get in pretty much every other city. Anyways, with this car you get two choices of race mod. You can either go for the fake falcon or the fake falcon in white. I'm, you know, I was going to use that colour, but I actually kind of like the white. So I'm going to go with the uh, white one. Uh, why not? So there we go. That's our mixed machine mirage modded. Um, the reason I went with this model is because it's got by far the best racing modification. I mean, that isn't even a particularly good race mod, but as you're about to see, the rest of the race mods aren't particularly interesting. Anyways, let's get into our next race, which of course goes to a random course. For our next race, we head to the Red Rock Valley, um, because why not? Um, as you can see, the, there's one of the sort of normal ra mirages. That's the sort of uh, paint job they get. It's kind of reminiscent of the uh, early 2000s uh, Mitsubishi Rally cars. Ultimately, I'm not a huge fan of that particular uh, race mod. I mean, that green one there doesn't look too bad, but it's still a little bit boring. Oh, that's what I was going to explain. Uh, yeah, there's two models of Mirage, you can probably tell. Um, there is the Asti, and then there is just the standard sort of Cyborg. And I'm not sure which one came first. Uh, you know, I believe from what I can tell, the Mirage, this particular hatchback Mirage, was the first one, and then they turned it into the Asti. Uh, the Asti is. Basically, it, it's half Mirage, half Evo from sort of what it looks like. It looks like half Mirage, half Evo, uh, which is a bit of an interesting looking car. I personally kind of like the way it looks, but I just went with this model because, I don't know, I, I like this model better, I guess. Um, plus, I've seen, you know, the Asti. It isn't an, all that interesting, and because the next episode is going to be uh, Mitsubishi Evos, um, you know, you don't really want to see the same rear end of a car twice in uh, the span of two episodes, so yeah, uh, we haven't gone with that one. Anyways, uh, I was discussing something involving... Uh, no, I've discussed everything I needed to, I believe. I think, I don't know, uh, I'd said a lot of stuff in the Seattle race, I can't really keep up with what I said. Hey, Ricaro uh, stickers. Anyways, yeah, I know we use this track for the Nissan Sunnies, but I'm not going to constantly spam and try and get other tracks to appear. Uh, because the loading times on this game are extremely long, hence why I cut them all out to the um, hopeful um, happiness of you guys. If I left the loading screens in, I mean, I could do that, I wouldn't really see much point in doing it now, but, you know, if you want me to do that for the next few Let's Plays, leave loading screens in, you know, by all means I can. Uh, the issue with this game is, I usually will leave the loading screens in, but the loading screens in this game are literal black screens, um, and I don't do anything interesting with the loading screens. Um, in fact, to be honest with you, if you actually listen to the loading screens, mostly all you can hear is uh, background joy, uh, background joys, background noise, and just me taking a sip of um, coke occasionally. That that's basically all you hear. Um, so that's why I cut those out because they're not particularly interesting. Yeah, Mirage has got a bit more monster than I was expecting. Ultimately, I've got to be honest. This Mirage has been a little bit of a disappointment for me. I better not lose this race. This is going to be the first one make race where I've actually almost been overtaken on the uh, finish line there. Anyways, as you can see, um, everything finished relatively close to me, and I don't like that. Don't do that. Right, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's that. Uh, we get a ground bait gun there. Seven ground. Oh, I'm not even going to try and add some bombasticness to it. Anyways, I'll see you in a second. So, there you go. That is the Mirage Cup completed for both normal style and racing style. In the next episode, we're going to be doing the Evolution Meeting, so join me for that. I'm sure that's going to be the more interesting of the Mitsubishi One Mate races. So yeah, anyways, thank you all very much for watching, friends. My name's been The Real Emil, and until next time, farewell.